Um, in the past few years, I have been working mostly on the uh, Hadoop projects under Apache. Um, so currently, I'm a PMC member for um, Apache Hive and Sentry, um, and uh, also a committer for Apache Peak. So today, I'm going to uh, t talk uh, mostly about uh, Apache Hive's new command line tool um, called B9. Uh, this is supposed to be more like uh, informational rather than technical, so I expect it's uh, easy. Um, here is my, uh, the outline of my talk. First, I, give, I will give you some back, background information um, about um, how Hive has evolved uh, during, uh, in the, over the years uh, from uh, uh, command, line, uh, command line tour to uh, um, for, to a DB, uh, database for, for big data. Then I will um, uh, discuss a little bit more about uh, B, how, how would, would you use B-Line as the command line to, to achieve what you used to do with uh, uh, Hive CLI, the old client, uh, command line CLI. Uh, then I will uh, give a little bit about like, uh, the future work on on B-Line and uh, where you might be able to find additional information. Uh, of course, uh, Q&A at the end. So in the past few years, uh, uh, Apache Hive has gone, uh, evolved several um, stages from like a, just a command line uh, pro, uh, tool that uh, execute um, user's query and transform into uh, map reduce jobs and get a result back to the uh, to the client. Um, later on, uh, Hive Server One is created uh, mostly to solve the problem of uh, uh, the uh, the limitation on Hive CLI because uh, Hive CLI is a command line tool. It's created; it can do everything. You actually query it has a the optimization, pretty much everything. But um, what if uh, uh, you want to execute, uh, let's say, a query from, from your Python script? Or if you want to integrate uh, this high, the functionality that Hive provides with your BI tools. So the, the command line tool doesn't uh, want, to be, want to provide you that. So that's, uh, so that's why later on Hive community uh, created Hive Server 1. And, uh, and make the Hive tools, uh, Hive CLI thinner with that as, a, as a command line, uh, command line uh, tool or command line client. However, uh, Hive Server 1 also have, the, uh, have a big problem that mostly is a concurrency. So that's why Hive community created a Hive Server 2 uh, recently. And uh, with the B9, a new client, command line CLI, as the, as, the, as the client, as the standard client. So looking at all these, uh, the three stages that Hive has evolved uh, from, um, it has, the, it has the pretty much the same functionalities, but uh, uh, they, all, uh, they all provide a SQL interface uh, to uh, make the user easy, uh, easy to use, um, use uh, the Hadoop, what the Hadoop can provide. Uh, of course, it executes the queries using, uh, using uh, MapReduce. Uh, so let's uh, look at uh, uh, each of the configurations uh, we talked about. Um, so these three configurations are still possible even today. Um, so Hive CRI, as we talked about um, earlier, is a command line interface. Um, it's heavy weighted and it's self-contained. It has everything like uh, uh, the driver, the parser, um, the optimizer, the, the, uh, the query execution, execution engine, and uh, also the, uh, the master. So it pretty much have everything. Um, but of course, it only supports a single user. Whoever launched the current process can, can do to get this functionality. 
Um, but there's no authentication. Um, the, the, the authentication is really depends on the, uh, the underlying Hadoop system. And uh, of, it's simple. It's, uh, it's auto, autonomous. So believe it or not, Hive CRI is still widely used, uh, mostly for debugging or testing. So the problem with Hive CRI uh, is, is, as we said, that uh, there is a limitation. Hive CRI uh, command line tool this command is the only way you can gain access to the functionality. Um, so you, you cannot integrate with, uh, um, with the other tools. Um, for example, some BI tools require you have a JDBC connection. Of course, you cannot integrate with the uh, Hive CRI. Or uh, it has no uh, programming, inter uh, programming interface with other uh, language like uh, Python. Um, so that's why um, Hive, uh, Hive community uh, developed Hive Server 1. So by chopping the, the CLI into two components, um, so the, it extracts the main components, such as the driver, the parser, uh, the optimizer, the query engine, and, and the embedded uh, uh, metastore into a component we call the Hive Server 1. And the, the rest is left on the client side. And the provide uh, uh, communication, communication protocol between the client and the server. So with, the, with this uh, uh, Thrift um, API, it allows a variety of clients using different programming languages to access this functionality provided by Hive Server 1. Um, the client can be remote. Um, so still, there are some other problems uh, with Hive Server 1. So mostly notably is the uh, concurrency. So it only, even though it doesn't reject multiple connections, but uh, in effect, it assumes there is uh, only one, one connection. And uh, all the session state is uh, stored in the thread local variable. So if you have multiple uh, uh, clients, you can think there is no way to know uh, one session is uh, to, uh, from the other sessions. And also, um, the, the, the JDBC, there's the JDBC, ODBC uh, interface uh, provided. However, the, there are also limitations over there. Mostly, uh, there's no, no uh, synchronous execution supported on the JDBC. And there's, uh, there's no way to gain the, what the capability of the server provides or there's no way to cancel your query. So with that, so the community um, developed a new server called Hive Server 2 um, to solve the concur mostly the concurrent problem, but it also enhanced the JDBC, ODBC connection. So why the community decided uh, like a fix the old Hive Server 1 rather than create a new, new, uh, new server? So I think the problem is the, the reasons are, there are two reasons. First, the, there, are, um, there are design flaw on the old Hive Server 1, especially on the Hive uh, APIs, the, the Thrift APIs. Um, to fix that, the problem is, is, is a lot of work. Maybe it's up to the same effort as creating a new, new server. Secondly, there is a compatibility problem. So uh, when the, all the Thrift API are provided, there are people using this API to, um, to, to integrate with other programming language or other, uh, other products. So if you fix the, the Thrift API, then you break backward compatibility. So to maintain the backward compatibility would be a headache as well. So, um, so that's why the um, Hive community in the past, uh, I think two year, probably two years ago, um, we, uh, Hive Server 2 is introduced. So again, it's a um, server and a client model, and uh, it allowed, allowed a variety of clients using th Thrift. Um, so it supports multiple user concurrency, and it has enhanced authentication, such as Kerberos or, or even LDAP. And uh, it has better support for JDBC, ODBC. For example, you can 
uh, cancel your query, and or you can uh, you you can do the asynchronous execution, and also you can uh, get the uh, capability of the server so that the client can can react accordingly. So at at the same time, uh, Beeline is also per, uh, provided as the the standard uh, command line uh, tool for for Hive Server Two. So, so Hive Server Two with Beeline is the recommended solution by the Hive community, um, and uh, Hive Server One with uh, with the Hive uh, with the Hive CLI is deprecated. So, I strongly recommend. Uh, uh, migrating to Hive Server 2 now. So let's look at a little uh, closer look at the Beeline. As we said, the Beeline is uh, Hive Server 2 uh, CLI. It, uh, it's based on SQL Line. So SQL Line is an open source, uh, uh, open source project that's uh, uh, built, um, built up as the interface to, to JDBC supported servers. Um, what the community did is made a copy of the code and uh, fit into the needs of uh, a Hive Server 2. So, so the connection to, from B9 to Hive Server 2 is JDBC based. And uh, JD, of, of course, the, the JDBC driver that is implemented by Hive Server, Server 2 is uh, again using Hive, Hive Server 2's Thrift APIs. Um, please note that uh, uh, Beeline is not compatible with the older server, Hive Server 1, so it's not possible. So um, the question is, I think is for a lot of customers or users is to, migrate, is to migrate from Hive Server 1 with Hive CRI to uh, Hive Server 2 with Beeline as the command line tool. So it's... Uh, not that complicated, but it's not as simple as changing the executable name from like a Hive to B9. So it, a little bit re, uh, re adjustment might be needed. So the following talk will be focused on how you uh, do the migration, how you would migrate your script to using B9 instead of the old Hive CLI. So first, let's look at the server connections. So when you launch uh, your client, how do you connect to a remote uh, server, Hive Server 1? So in the old Hive CRI, you would use, uh, uh, you will provide uh, the collection parameters, such as uh, the host name and, uh, the, and the optionally the port number, um, and make a connection. Um, so it's a, but for B9, because it's a JDBC based, so what the connection parameter is, is actually just a URI, um, the URI of, of, the, of the server. Of course, in the URI, you have the host name and the port number. And then you can, um, this, if you look at the syntax, it has a host name, port number, and also it has the DB. You can, choose your default DB. If you don't give a DB name, you will get the default DB. And, and, for, and there are several other components as well. For example, in the UIL, you can specify the session uh, configuration variables, session variables such as username and the password, all the principle for your Kerbal's, uh, sub, Kerbal's connection. Uh, or follow the... Um, with the query string, you can specify a list of uh, high configuration variables, such as uh, uh, the number of reducers, um, turn on certain, optim uh, certain uh, optimization feature, or turn off something else. And uh, the hash portion of the URL, you can give a, uh, provide a list of uh, um, high variables, what you, whatever the user defines. So at the bottom of this page, there's a, there's a, a URL example. So it has, uh, the URL contains the, the, uh, the components that I mentioned above, like uh, the username, password in the, in, as the session variables. And uh, you can also specify, it also specify like a, 
the configuration var uh, variable values as well as uh, user-defined uh, uh, variable values. So when you, so with the client, of course, you want to execute some query. So there are two two options provided by both uh, Hive CRI and uh, B9. So two, they are identical. So the example you can see that uh, you you can have two ways to execute the uh, execute your queries. First one, you can use the dash e options followed by your whatever the queries you have in quotes. And the second option is the dash f option. Um, you give your file name for your script. So they are identical. So the migration it is supposed to be easy. If there is no dash e or um, dash F option is given. So both Hive CLI or B9, we're, we're going to uh, interactive mode. So in the interactive mode, the queries are executed line by line. So here is an example for, uh, for Hive CLI. You can type your, uh, so when you start in active mode, it has this prompt Hive with uh, with this arrow and say you can type any commands, SQL commands, like a show databases, and they give you a result printed on the screen. So the other, way, uh, the other uh, thing that you can do with Hive CRI interactive mode is you can execute any share command by using this band notation. So you can say, uh, see the content of the file or you can list uh, uh, whatever the files you have, essentially any share commands that, uh, um, that you can do uh, at, your, uh, at your terminal. So interactive mode is also uh, supported by B9. So here is your, um, how you execute a query. So you it's doing it in the same way. It's just the prompt is a little bit different. It shows you the current connection, but the, the way to Give your query is the same. It says show the databases, and it can provide you a nice tabular output. Um, so the the, the above um, command is actually is equivalent to to the uh, ban SQL command. Ban SQL is the is the command provided B9. So you can essentially they are the same. It's just uh, uh, ban SQL can be skipped. So I don't see. It any reason not why not so 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 for simplicity you just type any sql command no this is jdbc for a jdb hive server too yeah sure Well, um, not in interactive mode, but it's probably possible. I never tried, but might be possible that if you do the dash e option, right? So you do high dash e option, whatever the share command, then you do pipe to the subsequent uh, uh, share command. So I, I think it's possible, but I never tried. Yeah. So um, yes, the query, yeah. This is supported by B9, but uh, unfortunately, because uh, the ban is used by the B9 to execute the SQL, uh, B9 commands, so as as the connection, you can connect to a, a Hive server. Actually, you can even have make multiple connections, or you can uh, close a connection, or you can create, uh, create uh, the B9 process. Since this band is already used, so there's no way for uh, B9 to provide the same uh, syntax to execute a share command. Um, ho however, there's an uh, ongoing Jira, Hive 6694, is uh, to, uh, to provide the same way, uh, not the same way, but a similar, provide a similar functionality, allow you to execute a SQL, uh, uh, any share command. So the current proposal it would be used ban sh to execute any share command. So there would be a little difference. 
So it's also possible to start a high the CLI or beeline into uh, in embedded mode. So in embedded mode is everything is the same process in the client process. It provides you a quick way to debug or to, to, to the testing. Um, to, uh, to start a high volume in, in, in embedded mode, all you need to do is do type high without any connection parameters. So it will launch uh, uh, embedded uh, Hive Server 1 and with embedded Hive Metastore. Um, so Beeline is a little bit different. So uh, whether it goes into embedded mode, it depends on the URL you give. So if you give uh, this particular URL, at the time you start Beeline, it will start in embedded mode. Um, also, it is it's also possible that in interactive mode B9, uh, you start B9, and you say use the band connect command, B9 command, give a certain URL, it, the same, same uh, URL, it also start in command line. So if I provide the URL, it delegates everything to the server. If I don't provide the URL, it will um, essentially run the server locally, or when you're saying embedded, what is embedded? Embedded basically means uh, in the same client process, it starts everything. Starts, it starts uh, embedded Hive Server 2 with uh, embedded Hive, uh, Hive Metastore. If so, you don't provide the URL? No, that's for the, the old Hive CRI. Mm -hmm. But for Beeline, you got to provide this particular URL to start in embedded mode. But the URL is the Hive server I want to talk to. Yeah, but this one, see, there's no host name port number, right? So. Oh, I uh, thought that you were just. Yeah, not it's kind of a marker, everything. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it says, okay, if you give this, that means you want to embedded mode. Oh, but if I have the host and port, then it yeah, will then talk it to will, okay, okay. Right, exactly. So the next topic is uh, actually is very powerful and very important for a lot of uh, uh, Hive users. That's the variables and the variable substitution. Um, so there are four types of variables, like a um, Hive conf that is represents uh, Hive configuration variables, such as the number of reducers, uh, turn on, turning on a particular feature or turn off a particular feature, and the system variables that you you get from the system, like the OS name, uh, locale, something like that. And the environmental variables, that's what you inherited from the, 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 the environment that you, when you start the start Hive server. Or Hive variable, that's for, for user to use for whatever purpose in their script. So variables um, are prefixed. So there you can prefix with either of them so that to differentiate one from the other category, um, except the high var, you can skip the high var which you, um, prefix. So the syntax uh, for the variable, the full name would be the, the prefix followed by colon follow, followed by variable name. So the way to refer to the value of the, of the variable use the um, dollar curly brackets notation. This is an example. Uh, this is if you use this in your script, basically means you say um, run my script with the value for this particular, particular variable. So how do we define variables? So um, here we define Hive variables. There for, um, for the order Hive CRI, you can, there are three ways. So you can do either dash D followed by K value pair or the long options, dash dash define or dash dash uh, high var uh, t followed by key value pair. Uh, to define high variables um, in Beeline, there's only one choice that's you use. We kind of standardize into this uh, notation like dash dash high var followed by key value pair. Um, defining high conf variables is done in a similar way for, for both. They actually they are identical. They, you, the, you can only use dash dash high conf. Uh, followed by a key value pair to 
uh, to define uh, define the conf variable um, at the command line. So um, it is also possible in an active mode you uh, set or reset the value for, for your variables. Um, here is an example. You, in the order hive CLI, um, as well as in B9, you can do the same command. You just set the variable name equal to the new value. Um, here, the example say you can change the OS name right, to something else. Uh, I don't know if there is a reason to do this, but this just to show you that what you can do, what you can uh, change the value of for your, for your variable. And please note that uh, environment variables cannot be reset because the, these, va these values, these variables are derived from the environment where, when you start a server. So there is um, uh, no, uh, no point to, to change them. So if you try to do that, you will get an um, get a error message like this. Of course, right now, beeline, there are some problem where it displays nothing, but they don't assume that uh, your, your command uh, went through. So you can show the current value of a variable by using the set command followed by, by the variable name. So for both, uh, they are identical for both the CL, Hive CRI and the beeline. Um, so also there's a problem uh, with beeline where um, uh, it doesn't display the value. So uh, that's, a, that's a bug there, uh, even though the syntax is the same. I mean, how you set the variable uh, is, has the same syntax. So if you do set command without giving any variable name, it will display a list of commands, a list, a list of variables with their values. Uh, so that's a good way to find out what's your server's configuration, what's the variables you set, what the uh, value it derived from the environment. Um, so they are identical. So, it seems that uh, there are so many commands, it's hard to remember each, but don't worry, there's command line help. Uh, to trigger the command line help is slightly different between the two. So for Hive CLI, you use a dash capital H to get the list of commands possible, list of command line options. Um, but for Beeline, it has a short, short uh, dash H option or that longer option, uh, long option dash dash help. Yes? Okay. The last slide, is that only um, hive count or, no, I didn't skip Well, it, it shows it show all, the, all the variables in the four categories. Oh, so it's- uh, Yeah, it's a quite a long list if you try. You know. So help is also possible in the, interact, uh, in the interactive mode for Beeline. So you can use the ban help. That's the, uh, that's the command provided by um, Beeline. So you can essentially get all the possible commands that you can use uh, in interactive mode. Of, uh, unfortunately, Hive CRI has no, no help in interactive mode because there are only two things that you can do. You either run uh, SQL command or query, or just a sh or execute a share command. So that's pretty much that. Uh, uh, what you uh, what what you would do to migrate uh, to uh, using uh, Beeline from the old Hive CLI. Um, so here is the some more work that needs to be done. Um, so. There are main two, two gaps that we see which are seen as missing from Beeline. So the first one is the Beeline right now has cannot accept the dash i option. So dash i option is used to, uh, to initialize uh, your, the, your session or your, or your server um, when, when, you start, uh, when you start your client. So so in the older Hive CRI, this is possible. You can, um, you can use dash i followed by a script that you want to run every time when you start the, the client. 
but B9 doesn't provide that. So we have an ongoing um, Jira for that. Hopefully, they will come soon. So another gap, as we see, is that uh, there is no way to execute a share command. We already discussed that in B9. So of course, there are a number of bugs. Some are we already mentioned, but there are more. So I'm sure if you use uh, B9 more, you will find more bugs. Um, um, please feel free to, to report. So here's the places where you can get more information about uh, Hive in general. So this, uh, uh, the first one is the Wiki, Wiki, Hive Wiki. It, uh, this section is specifically talking about Hive Server 2 and uh, Hive Server 2's client, clients. And also if you uh, need more the information on the same topic, please refer to the blog post that I have. And uh, also, um, the Hive's documentation on the SQL line is quite limited. So because uh, B-Line is derived from SQL line, so you can get a lot of uh, uh, more uh, documentation from uh, SQL line, uh, SQL line's uh, UI, uh, web page. So that concludes my talk. So any more questions? Does it have any impact on Cloudera Hui? Uh, we can run uh, Cloudera Hui. Hue? Yeah, Hue. Whether you can run P9 in Cloudera Hue? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, P9 is the command tool. Uh, I think uh, from Hue, you can, you can connect to Hive Server 2 and run any commands or, or the commands that you can do use, uh, with P9. That means uh, that is available uh, uh, with which version of you? Sorry, can you repeat? Is it like backward compatible with all the previous version of Hui? What do you mean backward compatibility? The, the command syntax? Yeah. So as we discussed, uh, most of them are the same, but uh, there are variations. For the SQL, SQL syntax is exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you very much.